Gong Hyo Jin is one of the top actresses in South Korea and she is always on the list of the richest Korean actresses. She has been in the industry for a long time and many celebrities would mention her as their role model. Here is the story of Gong Hyo Jin. Gong Hyo Jin was born on April 4, 1980 in Seoul, South Korea. When she was a junior in high school, she moved to Australia with her mother and younger brother, while her father remained in Korea to support the family. Kong attended high school at John Paul College in Brisbane. After three years in Australia, the Gong family moved back to Korea in 1997 due to the Asian financial crisis. Kong has spoken fondly of her memories of her time there, and in 2011 she was designated as one of the Goodwill Ambassadors' Four Year of Friendship, the 50th anniversary of bilateral relations between Australia and South Korea. She then went to Sejong University, Seoul, to complete her education before making her debut as a model. In 1998, Gong started her career as a model, working in various commercials for the telecom industry. Gong was not interested in acting at all before she ventured into the industry. She was working hard on her modeling career when she took up a supporting role in a horror film, Memento Mori, in 1999. At first, Gong didn't take it too seriously and couldn't wait for the filming schedule to end. When the film was released, Gong wasn't fond of her on-screen debut, she called herself ugly. At first it wasn't a hit, but nowadays it's called the modern-day classic. After the movie, the model started receiving calls from agencies and felt encouraged to pursue a career in acting. She followed that with a role in 2000's sitcom My Funky Family. In 2001, she continued to mesmerize her fans with her acting skills by appearing in television series, such as Wonderful Days and Teabag Without Hope. After appearing in small roles in Jang Jin's comedy Guns and Talks and teen martial arts flick Volcano High, the young actress had her breakthrough year in 2002, landing lead roles in Emergency Act 19 and A Bizarre Love Triangle. Gong's performance in Ruler of Your Own World grabbed the industry's attention. The TV series was praised for its realistic writing and strong acting, earning it cult hit status in Korea. That same year, she again acted opposite Ryu in Conduct Zero, earning praise for her role as the tough-talking boss of the girls' high school. The 2003 series Snowman, in a controversial plot about a girl who falls in love with her older brother-in-law. She then returned to more mainstream fare in saying do. Let's go to school. Gong played a high school teacher who meets her childhood sweetheart again, now a gigolo and single dad with a sick daughter. In 2004 to 2005, Gong entered a career slump. She was dissatisfied with the scripts she was getting and felt she was being typecast in Anjani roles. Cast as another high school teacher in Hello My Teacher and a scientist in Heaven Soldiers, Gong longed to portray meteor, real women roles, but she was unwilling to do nudity in film. In 2006, Memento Mori director Kim Tae-yong offered her a part in Family Ties, a role he had written specifically for her. The cast was praised for their brilliant acting, with reviews singling out Gong's portrayal of an angry young woman in a deeply troubled relationship with her mother. Family Ties marked a turning point in her career and gave Gong a renewed passion for acting. In 2007, she returned to television in Thank You, written by Sang Do scribe Lee Kyung Hee. Several actresses had turned down the unglamorous role of a single mother with an HIV positive daughter and a grandfather with dementia, another reason being that this was lead actor Jang Hyuk's comeback after his draft dodging scandal. Despite little hype, Thank You became a modest hit and rose to number one in its time slot. Viewer response to the drama had been mostly heartwarming and life-affirming, which Gong said she treasures. She then played a major role in the 2008 film Crash and Blush, which too, went on to achieve a cult status. It was a black comedy genre film, and Gong's performance as a misanthropic woman earned her many awards. After starring with close friend Shin min -ah in the 2009 Indie Sisters on the Road, Gong played an aspiring chef in romantic comedy series Pasta in 2010. Originally written as the usual brash and spunky rom-com heroine, 
Gong thought it would be boring and cliched to play her as such, and instead made the significant acting decision to play against type by creating the character as an ordinary girl who was seemingly meek, but had a quiet strength and slyly got her way. In 2011, she worked in The Greatest Love, a TV series that portrayed a romantic relationship between a pop star and an actor. The series was a big hit. She then starred in the 2012 romantic comedy, Love Fiction, which became a commercial success. Uninterested in stereotypical pretty roles, Gong said she preferred playing multifaceted women, like the laid-back, unpredictable female lead with unshaved armpit hair. She also appeared in a documentary titled 577 Project in which a group of actors walk across the nation, covering a staggering distance of 577 kilometers. In 2013 Gong starred in comedy film, Boomerang Family, about a grown-up trio of siblings who embark on a series of misadventures after they move back in their mother's home. The Hong sisters cast her again in their next series Master's Son, a romantic comedy with horror elements. Co-star So Ji Sub praised Gong as the best Korean actress currently working in romantic comedy. The drama series was a commercial hit, and it renewed So and Gong's domestic and international popularity. She then experimented with her roles in 2014 as she starred in It's OK, That's Love. In the series, she played a psychologist who falls in love with a schizophrenic novelist. She then appeared in a sitcom titled The Producers in 2015. In 2016, she played a prominent role in Don't Dare to Dream, which was aired on SBS Network. She then starred in Missing, Single Rider and Door Lock. In 2019, Gong starred in a police action film Hit and Run Squad, a car chase thriller that focuses on hit and runs. Followed by romantic comedy film Crazy Romance. The same year, she made her small screen comeback in the romantic comedy thriller When the Camellia Blooms. In 2010, Gong published a collection of essays on the environment titled Gong Hyojin's Notebook. In it, Gong gives a look inside her personal lifestyle habits and offers practical and simple tips. In 2024, she is going to appear in Ask the Stars Together with Lee min -Yu. When it comes to her personal life, she is happily married. Gong and Kevin O oh confirmed their relationship in April 2022, days after Gong reportedly caught the bridal bouquet at A-list celebrity couple Hyun Bin and Sun Yi Jin's wedding in March 2022. They had to confirm the rumors because of Korean news outlet Sports Chosen. They reported about O oh and Gong's relationship and their probable marriage. The report read, Gong Hyo Jin will have a wedding within the year. The prospective groom is Korean-American singer Kevin O, oh, who is 10 years younger than her. Then Kevin had to go to Instagram and said, Since I couldn't tell you first, I'd like to be completely honest with you. I've met a wonderful person who I'm dating sincerely. I know the news may seem sudden to some of you, but I ask you to look on us kindly. Thank you for trusting in me and giving me strength. I'll meet you with good music soon. Later on Gong's agency confirmed their marriage plans. Gong Hyo Jin and Kevin O oh are about to start a new part of their lives together. As it is what the two wish for, they will be getting married in October in a private ceremony with only their close relatives and acquaintances present. Kevin also took to his Instagram account and called his love for Gong we proved to each other that we need each other. In her, I've met my best friend for life, my soulmate. And soon, I'll be able to call her my wife. The letter also revealed that the couple will be getting married in Kevin's hometown in the USA, in the presence of his family. The celeb couple exchanged vows in a beautiful resort in New York on October 11, 2022. In a 2023 appearance on TV host Yoon Jae-hyung's YouTube show, Fairy Table, Gong opened up about her personal life and shared, I'm quite cautious when it comes to dating, so I don't have many actual dating experiences. I don't easily fall for someone. Through my relationships, I thought marriage and I were incompatible, leading to my decision to not get married. But my feelings changed. He's, Kevin O, oh, an angel. 
Even now, I still think he seems like an angel. That's why he's saved as angel on my phone. He's a kind person. It's just so cute. I am so happy for them and wish them all the best. Thank you for watching and see you next time.